Rock Pat here. All right, guys, this is another hot, rocky day in the jungle. And man, it is the first fall day here in Houston all year long. It is the coolest weather we've had since May. We've been 90 plus, and generally that's going to be in the 99 plus all summer long. But man, it is the finally got some cool weather this weekend. Cold front coming through right now. Now, when I say cold front, probably going to be in the mid 70s to uh, upper 70s today but we're getting down about 50 something to overnight so yeah cool weather all right guys let's do a little shop update uh over the summer we talked about having a vibration in this car i still have this vibration in this car i think the next thing i'm uh let's see well, let's talk about what i have done changed an axle out that didn't fix anything machined a spacer for the wheels the centering device for the wheels that didn't fix anything i think i'm going to change the drive shaft next but i did put a stereo in it and so now it rocks and rolls and rolls and rocks you, you know what i mean uh leroy we ain't done anything with leroy he blew a power steering fluid uh line on the power of the high side i need to go to tractor supply and do like uh uh frank's garage said i think that was who it was frank's garage said go to uh to tractor supply and they got stuff for hydraulic lines for the tractors that'll work on this stuff there here on there too but other than that we haven't done anything with leroy uh let's see oh nothing we've done nothing with jackie either jackie's got a some trailing arm i mean camber arm things that i got to do something with but i'll get around to that one of these days but successfully i got the marlboro man working and I didn't even paint the tank, man. And I had to take and change the fuel pump. It was nasty inside. I put a bunch of bolts up in that tank and rolled them around a whole bunch and got it all cleaned out with some acetone and some of this tone and that tone. So I put it all back together and everything and started it up and it wasn't running right. One of the cylinders was dead. So I ended up getting some new injectors for it. And it's cold right now. I ain't got, you know, no heat in it. It, you know, it's ice cold, and let's see how it starts. Haven't done a cold start on it. Fuel pump. Oh, yeah. Right, right up. So it had a dead cylinder, and uh, the back cylinder wasn't firing, so I went ahead and changed the two injectors and got the Harley working again. If somebody wants to buy it, it's for sale. Uh, I'd probably sell that for about three thirty-five hundred, maybe. Maybe something like that. Uh, we still got to talk about that engine situation right there and the truck that's out there, but we'll do that on another video. It's all part of the, yeah, the, the, the screwed up engine job thingy thing and everything. Uh, my buddy that died had a whole bunch of carburetors, and there's a story behind that, but my other buddy went over there and he rescued some of them, so there's a 12-pack of uh, quadro jets. And some of them are really cool quarter jets that are really good. These are really good. First generation, second generation, third generation, you could say, but still the same generation as this one. Just got an electric choke. And these two are truck. And I believe this one's probably going to be a Pontiac uh, because of the air cleaner right here. And I did, it's definitely a BOP because of the forward uh, deal. So one of them came out of a Pontiac or an Oldsmobile. But I'm thinking Pontiac with the shaker hood with that. Possibly. Don't hold me to it. I haven't run any numbers or did anything. But hey, got a whole table full of... Yeah, cool. Got cleaned up back here. Uh, you can see Rusty's missing. Rusty's not missing. He's just got relocated out from underneath that damn pecan tree, dropping all its crap all over everything. Pecan trees ain't as, you know, here in Texas, pecan trees like a holy thing. If you got a pecan tree, nobody wants you to ever cut down a pecan tree. But I'm going to tell you right now, pecan tree is a nuisance tree, especially when you can't get the nut out of the shell and everything. But anyway, put uh, Rusty back over here for a minute. And let's go take a look at what's going on over in this shop. We're trying to get it cleaned out a little bit. But we haven't moved the damn thing. You know how it goes. So, we are back on the Falcon. Okay, and I'm getting really, really, really tired of that blue. And this three-tone thingy going on here. 
So maybe next weekend I work on dish and uh, the very least scrape this ugly ass blue off this damn thing and put some primer black on it or something. So anyway, what I've got done is I've been in here cleaning the crap out of these floors because this gluey glue fuzzy fuzzy wuzzy was a bear stuff has got to go so I can find all the rust holes and everything uh, like in the last video I said that all this crap going on right up in here they've covered up the rust and I gotta cut that out and redo it so that's what I'm gonna do and I found some more rust over here let's see right there yeah I'm gonna cut that out and fix that found that rusty butt back here where they just covered up some rust because when I look from the channel well you can't really see it but let me walk around the other side when I look through the back side, because I've got this whole section right here open from the exposed from the back side, I see rust, and then I see a little spot where there's some shiny metal, and it's this right here. So I need to cut all this out and, and just cut the rust out. I don't know why people do patchwork like that, other than it's quick, it's easy, and it oh look man we fixed it look at the pictures we got it fixed but they don't show you the other side anyway that's what i'm doing this weekend is i'm going to get back rocking and a rolling and a rolling and a rocking on the little lady car over here this little pretty car get her all fixed up in her bottom end and everything and that's about it that is what i am doing rocking it down getting them down and making them sound yep all right guys well, I ain't going to keep boring you anymore. Y'all keep rocking and a rolling and a rolling and a rocking. I got a whole lot of grinding it down to do.